and maybe you could tell us a little bit about your background and the business you're in now, how you got there, and, and why you're yeah. so passionate about it. Uh, okay. Um, my name is Scott Sim. I am uh, I manage a company called Moonglow Lightscapes. We are a uh, landscape lighting and holiday lighting uh, install uh, design and service company. Uh, I've been with the company now just shy of four years. Um, you know, I, I I know anybody who knows me will, will recognize my passion for lighting. Um, I love what it does. I love what it does emotionally. Um, I've connected with other contractors probably through, you know, through the lighting industry that, uh, that I'm finding that it just, uh, there's others like me out there and it's such a, uh, awesome thing to talk to guys like that. So it just, it's, that's my re re-energizing as well is, uh, is now kind of delving more into the, into that industry with, yes. with contractors. Um, I came to landscape lighting from um, my experience at a company called Turf Care Products. I was a, uh, I went from a store manager for half my career there to uh, an outside sales rep. Um, in that outside sales role, spent a lot of time on job sites with contractors, but also with colleagues helping uh, contractors in the design of, of lighting. So I got to see a lot of cool sites, uh, got to experience a lot of neat uh, sceneries, if you will. Um, and, uh, you know, combination of really great customers, like I say, who, who had wonderful experience with lighting. Um, you know, they had a great palette and some properties that we got to help them design. And then two gentlemen, I'm going to name drop in particular, uh, John Hego and Raymond Josephine, um, who, who I would say on average, I would have one of those guys in the truck with me every other week, uh, seeing clients for a day, um, just designing and watching how and why they designed and what they designed, um, what questions they may be asked uh, to create a design. Um, and I was a sponge and I still am a sponge, you know, and that's why I enjoy kind of, you know, circling back to being a member of this organization now um, because there's more guys I can continue to sponge and, and uh, share with. Um, you know, more so on that note uh, is that now I'm finding, I'm starting to be the mentor. Uh, and I found some guys that I've started to talk to, uh, younger folks that, that I can I can sort of, uh, start to share with, and I love that. I love um, yes. one of my bosses, my boss at Turf Care, Bob Gold. Uh, he's who brought me into the position of an outside sales prep. Um, Bob said at some point, this was when he was was actually exiting, but he said at some point, um, and you're not going to know when it's going to happen, but you're going to get uh, you're going to get asked to be a mentor. You're not going to realize it at the time. Yeah. But all of a sudden, it's going to rear its head and just embrace it. And just that was my promise to Bob that I would do that because Bob, for so many years, was that person to me. And nice. so I, I enjoy now well, starting, to, starting to do that. You know, that's and that's great. it's something that's just organically occurred. That's you know, um, yeah. I love it. Um, yeah. So, what can I say after that? Um, so, tell us a bit about doing? Um, I was just going to yeah. jump in. Yeah. And talk a little bit about um, we obviously um, we 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 shot a video with you one of our ride along episodes a, a, a couple of years back, and mm -hmm. I'll I'll never forget uh, being in uh, a property I think it was somewhere downtown Hamilton. Uh, it was yeah, nice nice uh, nice kind of uh, backyard, and I'll never forget. I think it was the hottest day of the year. It was yeah, and uh, I'll never forget <laughs> you just just down, and somebody says. You know, this guy gets down into the weeds like you literally were in, in you know, in 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 the in the weeds, in the muck and dirt, yeah. and you were putting together a, a system, and you were doing yeah. a lot of uh, you know connecting. Uh, I'm sure it's more technical term, uh, but you were it's doing okay. a lot with, with your with your 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 gas blowtorch and you know all all that good stuff, uh, heat shrinking cables and yeah. all sorts of stuff. Um, and you were relentless, and we were kind of amazed at your kind of resilience. Um, I remember the, the, the sweat was kind of pumping out of you. So, you know, so obviously uh, you just love it. I mean, what, what's your not typical day now? Because we, we, mm -hmm. there's not, you know, we, we, let's not talk about this is atypical what we're going through. But so yeah, what, what, what would you do? Maybe t talk a little bit about what you would do on, a, on an install on a daily basis. What, what activities do you get up to? Because people see lights and they think, eh, yeah, lights. 
But I Nothing know from it. you, you've educated me and us at Outdoor mm -hmm. Lifestyle Magazine in terms of the, you know, the, the sheer scope of what you can achieve and, and, uh, in, your, in your outdoor space. So maybe talk with so I. So I'll, I'll actually go through kind of the process even prior to uh, the install, simply because I'm kind of an A to Z guy now. Um, oh, okay. I will, I, will, I will, first of all, meet the client, walk the property, discuss kind of what, what it is they, what their vision might be. And I know sometimes for a lot of people, they have these vague ideas. Um, it's guiding them through those ideas. It's guiding them through... Um, what they like and don't like and, and smoke and, and, and not maybe guiding them through is the wrong word, um, but, but kind of feeling those things out, finding out what it is they like and dislike about the property, what they want to highlight, what part of the property, um, you know, I'm still a sales guy. And so I want to know outside of maybe what we're talking about today, what do you think about this area, you know, um, and talking to them about future growth of the system and expansion. So, come away with that, you know, with the plans that I need to, to come home and start designing. Uh, from there, yeah, I'll, I'll put a design together, put a quote together. Um, once that's complete, I return, I present. Um, in a lot of ways, uh, what we do, I mean, my goal ultimately would be to do everything, right? Who doesn't want the whole the whole pie? Of course, but yes. Ultimately, uh, ultimately, you know, um, if we're talking about the backyard as the primary thing, but that's that's the focus but also again for some of the nuts and bolts and the, the infrastructure if you will uh, yes. I don't mind talking about other areas so that we can size up uh, a transformer according to, to Got it. not just today so you're but being so you're being pre you're trying to be preemptive yep. and you're trying yep. to future proof what you're doing so exactly you're, you're and, making and sure I think you can people, expand the system right yeah and and I think the way I you know obviously the obvious is, is uh, I presented that, hey, this would look great like this, but it's also, it's kind of given them a sense of uh, maybe budget down the road. Yep. Um, it's given them a sense of what, why the, why the transformer sizing is important, things like that. Um, and I find the approaches really work well because uh, we're, we're at a point now where um, I've got clients up back for years, two, three, four, five, uh, you know, or, or at least stage five. Nice. I haven't been there five years. Um, but I've got clients that I'm returning that far, uh, you know, to just to add, continue got to it. add again. Nice. I'd love to have it all right away. And there's of certain course. projects where that, that can happen. But, but um, we all have a budget. We all have of a course. number we have to live with. And so sometimes it's a way to kind of work around that. Got so so, so, um, so, so the, the question I had was uh, just kind of going back to uh, you, you mentioned at the, the first kind of initial meeting stage. So would yeah. I be right in assuming you're, you're trying to draw from people how to use their outdoor space? So for instance, you know, do, yeah. you, have a, do you do a lot of entertaining? Uh, do, yeah. you know, do you spend a lot of time on your deck? Do you spend a lot of time you know, in, in deep into the back garden, under your trees? Or you know, is, are they the types of things you, you're kind of trying to pull, pull out of people in terms of intel so that you can go back and, and provide them with a solution that matches their desires and needs? It's really all that stuff, you know, um, I was just talking to somebody earlier, oddly enough, and we said, uh, or I was explaining how people with dogs oh, will always okay. inevitably come to a point where they will uh, emphasize an area of the property, particularly the backyard, where they say, I need to see the dog out there at night when he goes out. Wow. Um, whether, you know, maybe they back, Didn't think of that. back up yeah. to a natural space or a, a bigger open space. Right. Um, and, and so that that's a safety thing. Right. Got it. Uh, or security as well. Yep. Um, and, and safety and security are two of the biggest pillars right. of lighting. Right. Yes. Um, we don't want to you know, we don't want to create some phobic situation. But yes. those are those are big deals. But yeah, I mean, you know, you nailed all the points. You know, entertaining. Where do you spend yes. your time or yes. uh, where do you envision spending your time yeah. outdoors if you had this kind of product? Um, yeah. You know, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When you get to talk in the front yard, does curb appeal a big deal to okay. you? Is um, yeah, do you have big uh, trees? You know, I've seen some of your installations where, you know, and I, I, I love 
see trees on the property, especially oh. huge big oak trees and stuff like that. And exactly. I've seen some of your installations where you use lighting to just accentuate these beautiful, beautiful trees. I think that's amazing. Exactly. And, and again, you know, in the front yard, maybe that's an aesthetic value, but it doubles as a, uh, as a lead in. It brings you in the yard safely. It brings you, yes. brings you up lane safely. Um, yes. It demarcates uh, yes. whatever you want to call it. Right. Yeah, so yeah. yeah, there's a lot of points and, and everybody, everybody kind of comes at it from different ways, right? It might be a combination of those factors that they want the ambience, but they yes. also want the yeah. safety yes. and security that it got. It. Got right. it. So, so here's, yeah. here's another, another question I had for you. Just, just again, trying to think of what people watching the video might kind of, you know, questions that might pop into their mind. So in terms mm. of, and I know there's no typical, but in terms of kind of cost, do you do, you know, what, what's the kind of range from and to, so like, you know, t tell mm -hmm. us what your kind of high end you've ever done and, and where it yep. starts. Because I think it's important to go back to a point you made at the beginning to say, yep. you know, most people don't come and say, D you know, give me everything. They, they, they do it in a modular way, get their mm -hmm. feet wet a bit, you future proof right. that and then add to it as they go along. Yep. Um, I'll give you the big range and then I'll give you kind of the, the, the modular range, yes. if you will. Um, yes. You know, I've done jobs as small as $2,500. Those get pretty tough to do simply because just to even enable the vehicle and, and staff to get to do a job anymore, that's a yes. toughie, but we've done yes. them. Um, high end, uh, just just around $30,000 would be the yes. biggest jobs I've done, and there's been a few in the ballpark. Yes. Um, Ten to $20,000 for big, full, kind of complete jobs seems to be a, a thing. Yes. And that, that, uh, compartmental, if you will, uh, in the four to 6,000 range is not uncommon, you know, whether it be a it. backyard in that ballpark, always keeping in mind that that initial install is going to be more because yes. we're, we're incorporating infrastructure, i.e. transformer. Right. Got it. So, Got it. Yeah. That's, that's pretty cool. So in mm -hmm. how, I mean, I, I've seen this, we've seen this in, in outdoor lifestyle magazine, we've seen this, in the industry over the last few years, um, the kind of the emergence of lighting as, 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 a, as a kind of real big option. I mean, how, yeah. how much has the business grown over the last like five or eight? Well, you know, you tell me like how much has it grown and how important is it, is it now for people? It's, um, you know, so from, you know, our business maybe isn't the best example. I mean, in a nutshell, business has grown, um, you know, but it was, it's all our business has been, it's all our focus has been. So, I mean, we haven't maybe rode the tide per se, uh, yeah. um, but the business has grown, you know, maybe on account of multiple things. That one being yeah. that trend, yeah. if you will. Um, yes. But the other thing is, I think the case that we've kind of really made this a, a full time yes. business, Special, if you will, yes. as not yeah. a it's I, not a supplement anymore. I, I, right? I was just going to say that's a great point, um, and it leads me into into a question of, uh, you know, moon glow lighting. That's what they do. So it's not moon glow. That's all we do. Who also cut grass, who also lay pavers. It's moon glow lighting. And no That's disrespect right. to companies who provide lots of the services, but there's other companies out there who provide lighting as a part of their services. But the differentiator with your company is that you guys, this is what you do. When, you know, That's this right. is all you do every single day. This is, you're, you're, you're providing the solution, right? And that's kind of how I've tried to not just, you know, to the end user, obviously the homeowner, that's, I, I think a huge selling point that, that we're a lighting guy, yes. all we do. Um, but I think also as, as a, as an option, let's call it just to, to, to other contractors, be their subcontractor. So all kinds of guys are capable, as you said, and it's part of their of mix course. potentially, yeah. Yeah. Um, you know, but, but where we offer that differentiation to those guys is just, you know, the ability that we have to design, we see things maybe through a different lens than, than just okay. anybody does. And that's, again, not to take away, because because I, I, I those guys see uh, a landscape and create yeah, a landscape of through course, a different yeah. lens no, too, no, right? Again, it's yeah, what yeah, they're just, best at doing. Yeah, it's just, a, it's, right? just a, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's an interesting um, differentiator, you know, uh, and in every industry. You, That's you right. That. And I'm sure you've seen, as well as your own business kind of growing over the last years and, 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 and um, yeah, what you guys do with, with your people, but I'm I'm talking also about the sector itself in terms of lighting in general mm -hmm. has just become much more popular for way people. more way more Years visible. Ago, they didn't think of that. Yeah, yeah, it, it's um, I think you could talk to 
all kinds of people and they would just it, it's not an unknown it's by far not an unknown and is widely acceptable yeah. um even watching you watch on tv and you're yeah. watching movies and stuff like that and that yes. stuff is I, you know in those big fancy homes but it, the fact it, of the yeah. matter is yeah. it's, it's visible it's there it's out there for all Got to it. see it's just not it's just not a, yeah. a, a, a nice little industry Absolutely. And, and it feels like the wave has, it's, it's kind of following the general trend in outdoor lifestyle spaces where, you know, exactly. people are spending, uh, a lot of people are spending a lot more money out there. They're starting, well, not even starting, but they're putting, you know, kitchens in, pergolas, yeah. cabanas, outdoor rooms, TVs, for, yeah. so it's all there and people are spending a lot of money. So I, I suppose it's kind of only natural to, uh, to see a trend in them saying, well, hang on, I've got this beautiful space. I want to light it. I want to make it look amazing. I want to be proud of it. I want to kind of show it off a little bit. And I want to make mm -hmm. sure, you know, we're lighting it and we're, we're, you know, we don't just have this thing at night where, it, you know, it's, oh, it's nice, but I can't see it type of thing, right? And I've seen some of your work and that's what it does. I'm going to eat all those things you said. I'm going to give you a real good quote that Rob Redden from InLight said to me a few years ago. He said, uh, would you finish your basement without putting light? Yeah, yeah, I love it. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, I, and it's resonated with me ever since. Yeah, and it's, it's yeah. just such a great saying because, yeah, you think you've created another room or multiple rooms in your backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why are you leaving them in the dark? And you know what? That's a that's a yeah. great uh, a great little segue into into uh, and I remember now um, some of the some of the brands you use. Yes. So what type of brands do you? Let's mention those as well because I think that's kind of interesting, um, and we can tag so, those as well. Yeah, absolutely. So I mean, uh, I've got a great relationship with the guys from Illumicare. Um, I don't. Uh, I'm not shy about that. I mean, Raymond. You know, I spent a lot of time with Raymond and John, and and because of that, uh, I feel very loyal to those guys. They've been great to me. Um, outside of that, I've, I've used uh, an assortment of Alliance, of Kishler, um, I've used some Cast, uh, I have used some InLight product, um, you know, I, I dabble, you know, the one, the one thing I probably look to a wide variety is, uh, is if I am using path lights, I'm trying to find something that matches, you know, call it the decor, the style of, of a home, right? Yeah. Um, you know, and and there's 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 a host of, of different ones out there that hopefully I can find a match, uh, a fix for. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So um, that's that's great information. I think like looking at that from a uh, kind of a, an outside perspective, and somebody just thinking about you know um, renovating their backspace or engaging with a landscape or or, or, or an outdoor uh, lifestyle company, I think it's it's just great for them to understand because I, I think a lot of people don't understand that there are companies out there who specialize in lighting. So even if they've right. got their, their, their outdoor space installed and it, they're enjoying it for a couple of years and it's bedded in, you know, that's even, that's even a great time to come in and kind of go, right, like let's, let's, let's light it all up as they, as they say. You know? That's right. Think, that's right. I think, so I think that's pretty important. So apart from uh, you've told us, you know, your background, what you do, your passion, the whole lot. So back to today, which I'm, I'm kind of introducing to, uh, into the conversation with anybody who I'm speaking to at the moment. Obviously, we're in this really strange time, which, as you and I said yeah. at the beginning, um, it's, it has necessity as the mother of invention, and it, it forces us to do different things. And one of the things is, as you said, is to kind of, you know, is to, is to work differently. Um, so I think from, from our perspective, that's why we've, we've reached out to a lot of people we, we've, uh, we've had the pleasure of, of working with and dealing with in the past, and, and that's kind of great. So tell us a little bit about how you're coping professionally and kind of then from a family perspective, because we're all working from home these days, most of us. So how are you coping professionally with, with the current uh, crisis and, uh, and also from a, a family perspective as well, because I think that's challenging for everybody. So professionally wise, I'm trying as hard as I can to stick to kind of my normal uh, start and finish time of a day. Um, Very important. You know, schedules, everything. You look Very at it, you, all you got to do is look at kids, right? Uh, yes. Kids have been probably uh, yes. without school and that structure right now can be a mess. It so, I mean, I'm trying to do it. Yeah, exactly. So I'm trying to do the same with myself. Um, as a group, so, you know, our, our, our sister company, which is a, you know, we have a landscape company that we're a sister company to, um, and I'm part of that management team. So we're meeting Monday, Wednesday, Friday, just, just to stay in touch, yes. to have this face-to-face, -to, -face, to have that yes. contact. 
also talk about what is going on, how yes. we're dealing with it, yes. and stuff like that. Um, you know, as far as you know, I've I've taken the approach that um, you know we've we've done um, a couple of social media posts just to say this is our position. Yes. Without saturating on that, and without yes. Yes. Um, I think that's important. Uh, I don't know if it belt like I, I cringe right now when I see anybody. Um, using this kind of time no. of people stuck at home it's wrong. to elaborate hey no, you can no, no, you know no, a great no. lighting it's, system it's, for your backyard no, since you're it's, here all the time it's you the know. wrong call it's the wrong call and very it's, much it's, the wrong message so i've heard yeah the, and the phrase i'd use would be um it's 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 actually tone deaf you, you know it's literally if yeah you're, you're gonna put if you're gonna put content out now and you're trying to sell people don't want to be sold to now that's not what they want no. they, they want to feel safe they want, no. they want to feel a sense of, you know, they're, they're isolated, so they want to find that community. So if we, can, if we can, in inverted commas, in some way, entertain them, serve them, provide them with useful content, inspirational content, I think that's kind of important. So I'm totally on board with what you say. I think the companies who are trying to sell right now, mm -hmm. it's, it's unfortunate. It, it doesn't, just doesn't feel good, and it's, it's very yeah. important not to do that. You know, and so with that messaging, I, I'm trying to share just some positivity in it, you know, and like, yeah. you know, I, I find our images, I generally find them to be positive yes. and I'm just trying to include some verbiage. Maybe it's a cool, maybe yeah. it's a, yeah. you know, uh, a song, you know, I'm yep. always inspired by music Absolutely. and I've tried to find some, unfortunately, some of her most recently departed um, artists who I found some lyrics of theirs that, that have lent well to yeah. the timing. Um but, um, but you know, just here, just to get some positivity out there, get some yeah. perspective out there. Um, yeah, yeah. You know, so, and those help me. I mean, yeah. being able to drum up a positive message is allowing yes. to stay positive too. Absolutely. Um, uh, outside of that, the other things I'm doing right now, there's all kinds of, you know, we're, we're lucky we're in an industry full of professionals and, 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 and experts, let's call it. Um, and we're tied to people who are experts who there's so much good information out there right now, how to cope through this. So, you know, there's been a lot of things I've taken in that, uh, you know, are even out of my scope. I'm not, a, by no means, I'm not an owner, but even to understand some of the, uh, you know, the government programs that are available right now and how owners are dealing with things and all that that's out there. Um, yeah. yeah, that's, that's any, quite true. It's, it's being able to navigate the, you know, all of the, 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 the benefits and stuff like that for, for, for workers and stuff like that and for companies, yeah. that's all important because it's, it's not, exactly. it's, you know, it's, it's moving so fast. It's changing. I, I, lo I think a lot of people are, are, are um, you know, it, it's challenging to understand how to, uh, you know, because mm -hmm. usually CRA and, and, you know, and the government, they have rules and, you know, they come out every year and you, you study mm -hmm. them. And you, oh, okay. Here's what's going to be for this year. Now we're like, yeah. you know, we have a daily kind of, uh, you know, a daily update from from the, the prime minister saying well now we're doing this and now we're tweaking yeah. that and now we're changing that so i think i i have found that with people that it's they're they're kind of confused and uh, yeah ex you know, exactly and, which is tough so i think it's important to, to kind of try and help people navigate that you know um uh, you know at, at, at this time you know so so you were talking about uh, anyway um about your um your your and i think it's a great tip even though you might have meant it to be a tip but stick to a routine I think is, is mm -hmm. really, really good because I found when I have it yeah. myself, you actually sometimes you end up working long into the evening or into the night. Exactly. You, kind of, you kind of meander along and you might not necessarily get a whole lot of work done, but you just, you're tied to your machine and you're, you know, yeah. and it's kind of like rather than, as you said, boundaries, you know, get up in the morning, you know, get, get stuff done, work on projects that you couldn't work on. I think yeah. personally, I think it's a great time to work on, you know, tidy up your website, tidy up your yeah. social media. And yeah. another big thing I would, and I would offer to, to, to people as well is reach out to your network. It's never been a better time to reach yeah. out to people and everybody is receptive. So, you know, a normal time, Very. Where they were, it was like, you know, if we try to get a hold of each other, it's tough because everybody's busy and your calendar's full. You know, if you reach out to people right now, you know, you you I, I you know I I sent my invites out to, to a list of people for this for the, this uh, series yeah. of uh, uh, interview chats, and uh, I'm like I got bang 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 <laughs> people coming back saying yes 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 yes. So that's the mm -hmm. big piece of advice I would give. There's never been a better time to reach out to somebody you haven't spoken to in a while 
and just reconnect and get and zoom is zoom is out there zoom is free yeah. you get 40 minutes of calls for free you can record it the whole lot there's never been an easier time so that's one of the mm -hmm. big things I, I i would say and i love that you guys are you know having a a, a call you know a couple of times a week uh, as we are as well with our, our, our goal our still that kind of team just to connect um you know maybe once a week once every two weeks just to connect and see if everybody's okay see what's going on so i think that's 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 really important Okay. Yeah, I could, I, if I could just jump in real quick and just to yeah. reemphasize your point on connecting with customers, I sent an email out, uh, I believe it was Thursday last week to, to, uh, to all my clients, just to, just to let them know, just to give them a status report and, and, and wish them all a happy Easter yeah. and, and all yeah. that kind of, you know, just, nice. just a positive vibe again, right? That's it, just a positive um, vibe. And, yeah, and, yeah, and the feedback was great. You know, like yeah. I, I, I always know there's a certain select people that you're just never going to hear back from, right? <laughs> no. um, but uh, that's just that just goes without saying, I think, right? But um, you know, there were some really un awesome messages replied back, um, and that's encouraging to me, right? Um, yes. To know those messages yes. are out there, the people are thinking those ways, um, yes. so that you know that's that right. positivity is carried. That's, that's it's relationships, right? And if you've got, you know, if you had Huge. strong relationships with your customers and you had, you know, a, a positive you know, uh, feeling about your business and people feel positive about you and the company you work for and the yeah. people you work for and stuff like that, that's going to be really stand to companies in these times because people feel, I mean, I seen a yeah. great, I seen a great post from uh, somebody in my network who owns a landscape company down in the States in Michigan. And he posted okay. uh, a chat and the chat basically was one of his customers, uh, direct messaging him to say, Hey, um, I want to pay you the money that I would normally pay you this year because I'm I know I'm going to have to pay it for it's, I think it's nice. for lawn maintenance or some turf maintenance something like that. But yep. Basically, here's some money. I you must be hurting. Here's some money <clears> because <throat> I want to make sure that you're there when we're done yeah. with this and that you can keep awesome. doing for me what you've been doing for me for 15 years. I'm like, wow, that's that's, unheard, that's unbelievable, and that's yeah. a testament. To, yeah. to to that to that business owner who's actually going to be on a video, Sam Gamble. That's a testament. Oh, to, that's te a testament to the way he's treated his customers and the way he's yeah. served them over the years. That they're staying here. Mm -hmm. Clear, here, take my money. <laughs> you know, like there's my money. <laughs> yeah. Take it. I don't have anything at the moment. Yeah. I know you're good. Let's go. You know, I want to help. That's you. Awesome. And that's just like that's powerful. So you know, yeah. that's that's what's and I I feel at the time we're in it's it's a it's a chance for that type of uh, positivity to kind of come through and shine and i hope that yeah. kind of sticks and i hope it's a kind of a sticky um you know uh, 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 kind of you know process to it afterwards where you know mm -hmm. people don't forget and they're kind of like yeah we 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 were in, we were on some tough times we've come through it which yeah. we will but we we did it yeah. together type of thing you know so that's right um no i agree i agree yeah, very awesome. much so well, listen, it's been great talking to you. Um, been amazing to catch up. Um, you as well. Yeah, I really, really uh, appreciate you taking the time. And I think, you know, uh, you've given us lots and our audience hopefully lots to think about. And uh, maybe, you know, a chance to sit down with a cup of coffee and listen to Scott for a while and see what this guy is up to. <laughs> that's, that's obviously what we're going to do. Um, so, yeah, so that's, that's been awesome.